Now, Congolese President Felix Shizukedi has advised people in areas hit by the nation's worst ever Ebola outbreak to accept the disease is real and trust health workers. DR Congo has suffered 10 outbreaks of Ebola, which causes severe vomiting, diarrhea and bleeding since the virus was discovered there in 1976. Following a series of attacks on treatment centers by unidentified assailants in February and March, the current outbreak is now spreading at its fastest rate yet. Wearing only scrubs and a hairnet, Jenny Masika cradles a two-year-old Ebola patient in her arms and offers the listless toddler sips of water out of a plastic bottle cap. To avoid infection, most caregivers must don a protective suit, including a surgical mask, goggles, hooded coveralls, rubber boots and two pairs of gloves. But the outfit are hot and cumbersome, especially in the stifling tropical temperatures of Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, limiting the time healthcare workers can spend with patients as they fight for their lives in isolation units. Masika was infected herself and now has immunity. The 33-year-old mother of six can spend days with patients at a treatment center in the North Kivu town of Beni, offering a comforting presence among a crowd of faceless figures with names written on their suits in Makapen. The work that I do, taking care of these children, is because I am a parent with children at home and I would have liked it if someone took care of them while I was ill. They cannot be with their parents because of this disease and I pity their situation. That is why I care for them and even when their parents get better, they still look at me like their parent. Masika is one of dozens of survivors who are providing care and much-needed human contact to some of the smallest victims of the second worst Ebola epidemic on record. Ebola claimed 10 of my family members. We did not know from the onset about Ebola, and I thought it was just a regular illness and flu. My uncle became sick first, then my parents went to look after him. Then he died. Our parents, in turn, unknowingly came back infected, then became sick, and in our bid to try to treat and care for them, got infected. They died, and in the end, we lost 10 people whilst infecting each other, and four of us survived. President Felix Shishikedi has asked people in areas hit by the Ebola outbreak to accept that the disease is real and trust health workers. Mistrust of first responders and widespread misinformation propagated by some community leaders has led many in affected areas of eastern DRC to refuse vaccinations. Instead, they turn to traditional healers whose clinics have contributed to the hemorrhagic fever spread.